If you're using Windows 10 or 11, then I highly recommend you change the settings we're talking about today before it's too late. Stay tuned. You know, I am convinced at this point that Microsoft is anti-repair. The reason I believe this is because for years, Microsoft has built mechanisms into Windows that would help you repair and extend the life of your Windows PC. But now, they're just arbitrarily disabling them. Seriously, these mechanisms are still part of Windows, but they're just turned off. These mechanisms specifically are System Restore and the Registry Backup. Now, I've covered this topic before, but I want to add to it, and it's honestly worth repeating, because chances are, if you have a computer that was built after 2019, then you have these disabled by default. So today, I'm going to show you how to turn them back on, but first, I got to pay some bills. So, check out today's sponsor. Is your copy of Windows 10 unactivated? Well, it doesn't have to be because with today's sponsor, VIP SCD Key, you can get a valid Windows 10 license for under $20. Stop dealing with that stupid watermark on the desktop, the valid license for Windows 10. Also, with an activated copy of Windows 10, you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free. Just go to the link in the description below and pick up a valid Windows 10 license key. During checkout, use the code CYBERCPU for a 25% discount. Once you have your key, go to your activation settings in Windows 10 and click on the link that says Change Product Key. Enter the product key you just purchased and hit Activate. Now you don't have to deal with that stupid watermark that come with running an unactivated copy of Windows 10. Now, on with the video. So, it's been almost two years since I did a video on re-enabling registry backups in Windows. I was hoping that Microsoft wouldn't re-enable this feature. Unfortunately, not only have they not re-enabled it, but it's actually gotten worse. You see, back when I made the original video, I had recently had a computer that was stuck running System Restore. It just sat there for hours, so finally I unplugged it. I know, I know, I don't need to hear it. It was stupid, and as a result, it corrupted the registry. However, anyone who has been working in tech for, as long, for a long period of time knows that Windows makes backups of the Windows registry on a relatively regular basis. So I went to the folder where the registry backups were, and it was empty. So unfortunately, it left me with no other way to fix the computer than reloading Windows. So that's what I had to do. So a repair that should have been relatively easy turned out to be impossible because Microsoft decided to turn off a feature way back in 2018 in Windows 10 1803. And apparently, I didn't know about it. So Microsoft claims that they did this in order to save disk space because you know, the two megabytes that a registry backup takes up is going to make or break a Windows install. But of course, <laughs> to store 250 megabytes of telemetry, now that's fine. And now that Windows Recall is a thing, it's supposed to take up between 25 and 150 gigs. But no, we need to save two megabytes in registry backups. But at the time, it wasn't completely about space used by Microsoft because they claimed the registry backups were no longer necessary because of System Restore, which actually kind of makes sense if you think about it. But unfortunately, they've disabled that too now. So not only have they taken registry backups away, but they've also taken System Restore away. These are two mechanisms within Windows that I have used to repair thousands of computers. But now, if these mechanisms aren't enabled manually before there's a problem, then when it comes to repairing these systems, they're probably going to be reloaded now. Now, I'm aware that this video isn't going to reach the entire population. So chances are, the next computer that I run into that has issues like this, I'm not gonna be able to fix them. I'm just gonna have to reload Windows. However, if you run into these problems down the road, I'm gonna show you how to turn these features back on so that you don't have to deal with it. And also, I would highly recommend sharing this video with your friends and family. But with that said, let's get into it. 
So here we are in Windows 11, and this should work exactly the same in Windows 10 as well. So what you're gonna wanna do is open your start menu and search for RegEdit. And the first thing we're doing here is we're actually going to re-enable registry backups. And then afterwards, I'll go through and I'll show you how to actually get them to work because they don't work right out of the box, unfortunately. And then we'll also do system restore as well. But what you're gonna wanna do is go to local machine. And then from local machine, you wanna go into system then current control set. And then from current control set, you wanna go into control. Then you wanna go into session manager. So we're gonna scroll down. All this is in alphabetical order here. So we're gonna go into session manager. And then from there, we're gonna go into configuration manager. And then from here, what you're gonna to wanna to do is right click and create a new DWORD 32-bit value. And then you wanna name this value enable periodic backup. And then go ahead and hit enter. And then we wanna open this up and we wanna change the value to one. This, is, this will enable periodic backups of your registry. And at this point, you can go ahead and close this and restart your computer in order for that to take effect. So now that we've enabled registry backups, there's still one more thing that we need to do. Unfortunately, since this feature has been disabled for like six years now, the task that's used to initiate the registry backups is unfortunately broken. So we need to initiate the task manually. And ironically, we're going to be doing that with Task Scheduler. So let's jump back on the computer now that it's rebooted and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here we are back in Windows 11, and if we open up File Explorer, we can go to the C drive, go into Windows, and then we're gonna wanna go down to System32. Then from, from System32, we wanna go down into Config, and then from here, you can see the folder Reg Backup. Now, if you open that up, as you can see, I have the Reg Backup files because we just enabled Registry Backup. But if you notice, they're all zero kilobytes. So it didn't actually back anything up. It just, it created empty files of all the different registry stores. So what we're gonna have to do is fix this so it actually backs up our registry. So to do that, we're gonna go ahead and close this and we're gonna start up our task scheduler. And then from here, the task that we're actually looking for here, I'm gonna go ahead and move that out of the way. The task we're looking for is under Microsoft. And then from there, we wanna go into Windows. And then we want to go into registry. So we're going to have to scroll down a little bit here. And this is all in alphabetical order. So go ahead and find registry right here. And then right here, the, the reg idle backup is the key that normally backs up your registry. Unfortunately, it just doesn't work. It, it backs up empty files when it does backup. So what we're going to want to do is right click here and create a new task. And then for the name of this new task, I just call it reg backup. And then from there, we wanna make sure to set this up as a system account. So go ahead and change user and group, go to advanced, hit find now and scroll down until you find system right here. And then go ahead and hit okay. And then hit okay again. And then from here, make sure you check run with the highest privileges. And at that point, we wanna run over to triggers and then go ahead and hit new. And at this point, you just wanna set it to what, whenever you want it to back up. Now, I'm gonna back mine up at startup every single time. However, you can have yours do it once a week or on a schedule or on login or at idle or whenever you want. So I'm gonna do mine at startup. And then from here, I'm gonna go ahead and leave everything exactly the same. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And then go over to actions. Now, this is what you're wanting the task to do. And all this task is gonna do is manually run the reg idle backup. And to do that, go ahead and create a new action. And then from here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paste this, make it a little easier for me, but I'll go ahead and have this down in the description below, as well as it should be printed on the screen right now. But essentially what you're doing is you're running task scheduler, you're telling it to run a specific task, and then you're telling it the, path of the tax task right here, which is the reg idle backup, which is this one right here, which is kind of funny that we're running the task from task scheduler, but unfortunately that's just what we have to do. By running this task manually, it will properly back up the registry. By letting it run automatically, for some reason it doesn't. When I go ahead and hit okay, it's gonna tell me that it's gonna take all of the following arguments and throw them down into the bottom. And if you go and edit this right here, you'll see what it means. The program is just task scheduler. And then right here is the arguments itself that it runs, but that's okay. If you type it all in the original program thing here, it just throws it down into the arguments folder. It works fine. And then from this point, go ahead and go over to conditions. And then one conditions, what I typically do is disable the power management because 
I want this to do this every single time it boots up. Doesn't matter if it's on AC power, doesn't matter if it's on battery, doesn't matter. I want it to run all the time, no matter what. So after that, the next thing is go ahead and click on settings right here. And the next thing that I would do is this run task as soon as possible after schedule start is missed. I go ahead and check this one too, just in case it misses it at startup. It will run it as soon as it misses it. And then go ahead and hit OK. And at that point, the task is done. And you can reboot your computer and it should back up properly. However, we're going to test it right here by just running this task right here. And then once it runs, we're going to go ahead down to our folder here, go into C drive, go into Windows, go down into System32, go into Config. Then go into registry backup. And as you can see, now there's actual data inside of these backup files. And we should have a properly backed up registry that will back up every time the system reboots. So in the event that your system gets corrupted or your registry gets corrupted and it doesn't successfully boot, you should have a registry backup from the previous boot. So at this point, your computer should make automatic registry backups every time you reboot your computer, just like we talked about. So now that that's done, let's jump back on the computer and turn back on System Restore. Okay, luckily System Restore is way easier. Go ahead and close all this stuff down, click on your start button, and just search for System Restore. And go ahead and click on the Create a Restore Point link right here. And then from there, you should get this little system properties menu up. And as you can see, your local C drive should say system protection off if you have a more modern computer. And to fix this, all you do is go ahead and highlight it, click configure, and then hit turn on system protection. You can change the amount of disk space that it's allowed to use. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at default for 2%, but you can change this to whatever percentage you want. And then once you're done, go ahead and hit okay. And at that point, system restore should be turned on. Now, if you want, you can create a restore point too. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm just gonna call mine cyber CPU and hit create and it should create an initial restore point. And then at this point, whenever it runs Windows Update or installs a new program or does whatever its normal scheduling is, it should schedule and create a system restore point at certain intervals for you. So now that you've re-enabled the registry backups and system restore, let's hope you never actually need them. But if you do, your chances of saving your Windows install drastically increase. Now, if anyone from Microsoft is watching this video, I have to vent my frustration for a minute. The vast majority of Windows installs are never going to need these features. In fact, I bet you probably one out of 100 users will ever even run into a situation where they need to run System Restore. And probably one out of 1,000 are going to need to restore a registry from a backup. So yes, for the vast majority of Windows users, these features just waste disk space. But let's think about an analogy that we can compare this to. The vast majority of people on the road will never experience an airbag deployment. In fact, it will, I will bet that only a small fraction of cars manufactured will ever initiate an airbag deployment. Airbags are clunky and expensive and they take up space. I remember when I was growing up, I was able to use custom steering wheels and that just isn't possible anymore because of the stupid horn button that has to be a giant airbag on it. But for the small percentage of people that do experience an airbag deployment, that airbag is pretty important. Now, I admit, maybe this isn't the best analogy comparing system restore and registry backups to airbag deployments. But imagine if an auto manufacturer included an airbag in their vehicle and then disabled it so it doesn't deploy during an accident. Believe it or not, that actually happened to somebody in my family once, but we won't talk about that. That would be a pretty stupid thing though, right? That's exactly what Microsoft has done to System Restore and the registry backups. These features are still a part of Windows. They're just turned off so that people that need them, well, you're screwed. With the amount of data that people store on their computers, the health and health of those computers is extremely important. People keep their entire lives on their computers. I mean, I don't even have photo albums anymore. We have picture folders that literally contain our entire lives. They used to say that in an emergency, you should always have your photo albums stored in a place where you can grab them quickly. And that's 
all on our computers now. Now though, this does bring up a very good point. We should all be doing regular backups regardless of these features being enabled in Windows. But as a technician, I can tell you right now that the vast majority of Windows users do not back up their data at all. I mean, like literally nothing. I do what I can to do my part to convince people the importance of backups, but people typically don't call me until they have problems. And when those problems arise, I need all the tools possible at my disposal to be able to recover their computer to the way it was before whatever happened to cause them to call me. So when I get a system that could have easily been fixed using a system restore point or fixing a corrupted registry backup, those tools are available to me, but turned off, they do me no good. And it literally gives me no other choice but to reload Windows. And I'm gonna let the customers know why. I'm going to tell them that Microsoft has no problem wasting 150 gigabytes of storage by spying on them with Windows Recall, but they can't spare two megabytes for a registry backup. To be honest with you though, these kind of decisions kind of wakes up the conspiracy theorist in me. Did Microsoft determine that turning these features off leads people to purchase more computers? Maybe. I have no idea. Maybe a percentage of people don't bother having their old computer fixed and just buy a new one. I mean, I've truly been trying to think of an excuse to justify turning these features off, and I just can't think of one. Let me know in the comments below if you can think of why Microsoft would have done this. But with that said, at least we have the ability to re-enable these features, and I hope this video never helps you, because if it does, it means something catastrophic happened and that requires you to use these features to try to save your computer. And hopefully that doesn't happen and these features just waste disk space at least a couple megabytes of it. But in the meantime, there's another feature that you really should be taking advantage of that unfortunately needs to be used a lot more often than these features here, and that's a backup. So if you're not backing your system up regularly, then check out this video where I show you how to set up backup using Windows file history. It doesn't cost you anything to back up your data, except maybe the cost of an external hard drive. But as always, you guys have a great day.